How's it going friends? Today I wanted to give you a very super simple tip for those of you wanting a low budget option for your Facebook campaigns. This will work for e-commerce or for local business as well. Now, one of the things a lot of people aren't talking about is avatars. Now, if you've been following me for any length of time, you know I bang on about avatars quite a bit and with good reason because it enables you to find out who gives a shit about your business the most and who does not. And therefore, don't spend money on the people who don't give a shit about your business. So that makes logical sense. So let's jump straight into it. I'm going to use an e-commerce example for this one and I've got a protein shaker and I'm going to list my avatars. This is step one, list all of your possible avatars. So the question I put to you and myself today, which I'm going to write out is who uses a protein shaker for reasons different to another person or avatar in this example. So busy business professionals, stay at home parents. Gym enthusiasts, probably the most obvious out of the lot. Mature age people, probably one of the most underutilized avatars throughout Facebook marketing land in general. And I'm probably going to leave it at that because I could rattle off these avatars for days. So right then and there, that took me 30 seconds to rattle off five avatars. As a business advertising on Facebook, you should be listing out those avatars with the sole objective to target them as best you can and deliver them handcrafted messages ads on Facebook speaking directly to that avatar's problem. Let me show you exactly what I mean. So I'm gonna create a conversion campaign really quickly here, so I might speed this video up. Very important that we switch on dynamic creative. More on this in a second. Now when it comes to targeting at the ad set level, you wanna target this avatar as best as you can. Audience size is important, so you're looking up here at the potential reach. I'd have that at least over 100,000 people. Anywhere between half a million to a million is a good size audience. But if you can't find any interests in here that are relevant to your avatar, then leave it open targeting, meaning don't select any interests. And I'll mention why in a second. Right, so for our first avatar, busy business professionals, as you can see there in the title, I've selected someone who's interested in business, but also must be interested in marketing. That's where I'm gonna start. I'm gonna deselect detailed targeting expansion because I want that to be quite relevant and I don't want the algorithm to reach outside of those interests trying to reach uh, my preferred avatar. So that's the targeting for that avatar. Then we get to the actual creation of the ad itself. I want at least three variations of copy. I want at least three variations of headlines. Wherever we're sending them to, the website or the product page goes in the website URL, obviously. So I'm gonna drop that in right now. Regarding images and videos, I'd want at least three images or videos that are speaking directly to this avatar. So busy business professionals, I'd want some images of, you know, professionals drinking from protein shakers. You know, I want them, you know, sort of frustrated. I want them to kind of alleviate uh, or present the solution of what this protein shaker solves, believe it or not, to this specific avatar. So I'll just select some placeholder images for now. Now this is where you get the opportunity to speak directly to this avatar's wants and needs. And if you follow any influencers in the marketing space, you'll find that the more contextual and specific you are with your ads, obviously the better conversion rates you end up having because people feel like they're being directly spoken to. So again, with your images and your videos, make it so, so tailored for that avatar. So when it comes to the copy, we'd be writing stuff like, this is the protein shaker for busy business professionals. We know you're always on the go and have less time than most to get your protein hit. If you're trying to balance a busy career and a healthy lifestyle, this is the shaker for you. So obviously, as you can start to see, this would not be a suitable ad creative copy or images for say the mature age avatar, right? Your mature age is gonna have their own copy, their own images, that's the difference. And so by delivering ads to avatars that speak directly to their problems and the solution that your product or your service provides, funnily enough, you get better conversion rates and everything just you know goes quite hunky-dory. So I'm not gonna write all of this out, I'm just gonna put placeholders here so I can move on to the next avatar and show you exactly what that looks like. So as you can see in here with the copy, I've just got you know two, three, so I've three variations of copy and I've got three variations of headlines. This isn't a copywriting lesson, but headlines again wanna speak directly to that avatar. So after this, I'm gonna click publish. And now that that's in review, I'm gonna drop back to the ad set level and all I'm gonna do is duplicate this ad set and target the next avatar on my list and then change up the ads to speak directly to that avatar. Let me show you what that looks like. 
So you can see that we're targeting our mature age avatar here. So I'm gonna go down, mature age, I'm gonna change the age bracket to 50 and above or 50 and 65 plus, that's as high as you can go. Now with that, I'm not gonna target any interests. I'm not gonna select detail targeting expansion because my avatar is just to reach people who are over a certain age. So now we're gonna go through and actually change the creative. So when you duplicate the ad set, it's gonna bring over the ads and the creative and the copy from the previous ad set. So be wary of that, you have to change this up. Bearing in mind that all we need to do now is just change the copy, change the images to speak directly to this avatar, mature age people. So again, this is the protein shaker for mature age people. I know I could get a lot more creative with this, so make sure you do. This is simply just a quick example. If you're simply trying to live a healthy lifestyle whilst keeping up with the grandkids, we have the product for you. Our protein shaker gives you a healthy intake of protein for the day whilst not filling you up. So as you can start to see, I'm recrafting this copy and I'm recrafting this creative. You would change your images and you would change your video to speak to this avatar so that you know they feel like they are understood and this feels familiar to them. This is kind of marketing 101. So I'm just gonna go through the rest of it and use placeholders so I can move on to the next one here. And again, we're gonna have a total of three variations of copy, three variations of headlines. We put our URL to the product page or the website, whatever you're using here in the website URL. Bearing in mind that we're using, using at least three images or videos up to five at this point in time. So now that's under review, we're gonna go back to the ad set level and rinse and repeat on every single one of those avatars that you wanna test. I would say use a maximum of five or six at this point in time, bearing in mind this is a really good strategy for people using low budgets on Facebook, you know, anywhere from 10 to 15 to $20 per day. I would say if finances are a bit tight and you can't spend at least $15 a day, I wouldn't actually be spending or using Facebook. You'll find that you're just not spending enough to get enough data. Now what happens from here is you run the campaign campaign at at least $15 a day for the next four days. After those four days, you're gonna find there's a, an avatar that performs way better than all of the other avatars and the creative and ads within that avatar as well. And then what you could do is a couple of things. You could duplicate the campaign and switch off the top performer and see if you can get a second or third best avatar. That's also a good exercise. And then just leave your top performing avatar in the first campaign that you created. And then what you've got right there, which is so powerful, is you have a target audience or an avatar um, that is proven to work with your brand and your business, whether you're e-commerce or a local business. And this, as you can start to see, is so powerful, but no one's doing it. Maybe because no one knows about it, but now you do, and they have no excuse. So I hope that's been helpful. Let me know if it has, and I'll see you in the next video. Talk to you soon.